Today marks one year since floods rushed through Midland and Gladwin counties. The floods caused billions of dollars in damage, and people are still cleaning up and rebuilding a year later. 9 and 10's David Lydon joins us live from Midland County as people there reflect one year later. David. Whitney, good afternoon. Behind me is what used to be Sanford Lake and the property we're standing on. It was lakefront property a year ago, but that has all changed in the year since. Many people here can still tell you exactly where they were in the exact moment in time. They found out they had to evacuate their homes in either minutes or seconds because floodwaters were rushing downstream. And everywhere you look here, you can still see signs of that flood, but also signs of progress as people work to rebuild and also look back on the lessons learned from this 500 year flood. And then I seen it go up over the seawall and I said, oh my God, I've never seen that happen, you know. And it was rushing down through here and stuff started floating down through and things that I've never, things I've never seen before. And then the alarms went off and that was just the most eerie sound. And Bill, the gentleman you just heard from told us earlier today he had just 15 minutes to leave his home last year. Coming up tonight on 9 and 10 News at 6, we are talking with the president of the village of Sanford. They were one of the communities hit hardest by this flood. She'll fill us in on the progress they have made. We also just spoke with Michigan Congressman John Molinar. He represents this area in Washington. He just introduced some legislation meant to help communities that face similar disasters in the future. We're live in Sanford this afternoon. David Lydon, 9 and 10 News.